Amen. This morning, right, we're going to look at, you know, this is the season to be fruitful. You know, I almost thought I should sing that Christmas carol. Tis the season to be fruitful. Fa la 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 la, la 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 la. Okay, uh, message title, right? This is the season to be fruitful. Amen. And you know, I want to declare, prophetically declare over you guys, right? You know, if you are walking into a season of fruitfulness, you're walking into a season of favor. La. Amen. And I want you guys, right, even this morning, just to expect. La. God will, you know, God will take you beyond, right, your natural, and God will supernaturally provide for you. La. You know, God, don't expect, right, you know, just, you know, be faithful, right, in wherever you are and whatever you do. La. But listen, you know, I want you that your expectation must not be, right, in, you know, where your finance, financial resources are, but your expectation must be in God. And God will do, you know, God will, you know, God goes beyond. You know, last Sunday at the altar, right, you know, we had the privilege of, you know, just praying for some of you. And it was really a privilege, right, Kong and I had the privilege of leading a, a, a young a boy, maybe about five, six years old, having a spinal problem and, you know, and asked him, right, do you want to receive Jesus? He's your good friend. If your good friend knocked on the door of your home, right, would you open the door? He said, yes, pastor. I said, Jesus is knocking the door of your heart. Would you like to receive him? And that morning, right, you know, uh, this young boy, right, maybe four or five years old, I can't I forget his age. Amen. He received the Lord. But, you know, I was just praying for one of the sisters in the church last Sunday. And then there, right, now suddenly, right, as I was praying, the Lord showed me, right, money falling from heaven. And that's really something nice to see, right? How many of you like that kind of word? Amen. But, you know, we can only say, right, with God. What's it? And I just, as I was praying over her, right, she was saying that, no, I just saw that, you know, money just falling from uh, over, you know, I just saw money falling. And I said, listen, uh, you know, I just see this. And, you know, I want you, right, to expect provision. I want you to expect the miracle. And Adeline was telling me, right, you know, just last week, on, you know, she went for her boss's birthday party. Right? And the boss gave $1,000 each, right, to all the senior staff. Right? You know, birthday party, listen, a birthday party, right, you're supposed to give the boss, right? <laughs> you the boss give you money. Right? Amazing, right? And this is what I call, right, you know, expect. Right? Man, don't, right, don't limit yourself, right, by, you know, your circumstances. You know, go beyond. Right? Amen. Right? You know, when we say, right, be fruitful and multiply, you know, we want to see, right, you know, fruitfulness and multiplication, really, right, in every area. Like, come on, you know, we want to see, right, you know, your character improve, you're a better husband by the end of this year, or you're a better wife, you're a better kid, a better parent. Like, you know, when you go to your office, right, your boss, your boss must say, whoa, man, you know, this year, you're a fantastic staff, right? And I thought you were fantastic, but now you're fantastic, fantastic. Like, amen. You know, you know, don't just, right, go for a good marriage, go for a great marriage. Amen. Amen. You know, I want you guys to right, work on your character. So, listen, when we talk about fruitfulness, is this, listen, sometimes when we talk about fruitfulness, right, you always think about money. Money, 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 money. You know, and listen, it's not about, it's just about money. Like, it's about character. We want to see, friends, listen, this morning. Like, amen. We want to see, right, you know, you guys, right, you know, you know, people. You know, you cannot say you're fruitful, right, if you're not brought people to Jesus. Like. We cannot say we're fruitful if you're not impacting people. Amen. You know, and you know, and the find and the only thing right that we can take to heaven is precious souls of people. Amen. You know, people right, you know, wherever right background that they come from. This is our Christian responsibility. Come on, onward, Christian. For those of you that know the hymn, onward, Christian soldiers, marching on to with the cross of Jesus. Onward, Christian. Man, guys, man, we are soldiers of the army. La, and we are here to touch lives. La. And so people, when we talk about fruitfulness, listen, it's also about blessing. I want to see you guys blessed. La. Amen. And you know, this, when we talk about fruitfulness, transition this morning, la, it's about destiny, la, fulfilling. La. This morning, we're going to look at Psalm chapter 1. La, and you know, we're just going to do an analysis of Psalm chapter 1. And then, right, we're going to serve communion. La. Amen. You know, as you look at Psalms, friends, listen, look at me, people of God. La. You know, Psalms, uh, you know, Psalms, uh, you know, places, you know, there are places where, you know, through, right, you know, the, the capacity, amen, the capacity, right, to capture, you know, human real life situations. And I don't know about you, right, you know, how many of you enjoy reading the Psalms? You know? Okay, man, you know, you know, such a joy, right, you know, why? Because you can identify, like, Amen. The struggles. And so, right, you know, the Psalms, right, you know, every Psalm captures, right, you know, every Psalm captures, right, something about, you know, real life situations. Amen. This morning, right, you know, Psalm 1. And as we look at Psalm 1, you know, Psalm 1 is the gateway. Amen. To all the other Psalms. You know, when you look at Psalm 1, it is a contrast. Amen. Between the righteous and the, un the, righteous and the ungodly. It's a contrast. You know, God, you know, you know, teaches us, right, you know, how, right, the consequences of walking in unrighteousness and the consequences of walking in righteousness. 
Amen. You know, Psalm 1 gives us, right, you know, a lot of fantastic truths, right, that each one of us, friends, listen this morning, right, can base our life upon. Uh, amen. You know, Psalm 1, right, you know, speaks about, you know, what we should do and what we should not do. Amen. You know, I was just, as I was preparing this message, amen, I was just thinking, right, you know, you know our whole life story, right, can be defined by just two words. La, and those two words are, you know, one of my key words for the message today. La. Come on, someone say do. And someone say don't. Amen. Do and don't do. La. Do and don't. La. Amen. What's the difference between a righteous person and an unrighteous person? An uh, unrighteous person does things which are wrong and doesn't do things which are good. La. Right? An unrighteous person. La. What is the, What does a righteous person do? La. A righteous person does things which are good and doesn't do things which are wrong. La. And so that's the difference. La. And in Psalm 1, right, you see this. La. You know, don't. Amen. Don't. Don't. And then God says, do. Amen. What are you supposed to do? Do the things that He has called us to do. La. And so Psalm 1 is a contrast. La. You know, how, right, you know, the consequences of walking in righteousness and the consequences, even this morning, right, of walking in godliness. La. In Psalm 1, verse 1, how does the Scripture say, start? La. Come on, say this with me. Blessed is the man. La. Come on, someone shout out, say it as though you believe it. La. Blessed is the man. La. Amen. You know, even the word here this morning, right, is about the multi multiplicity of blessing. La. That means, right, surely I will bless, 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 bless you. La. You know, you know, and this is, you know, it's just a speaking, right, about continual blessing. La. You know, I can just, you know, as, as I was preparing, you know, I was just thinking, right, now how could this come across? La? You know, I've been to some Christian, uh, you know, uh, Christian functions or dinners, la. And, you know, and sometimes, right, at the end of the dinner, when they give the, you know, the toast, right, you know, you know the guy comes up, and, you know, some Christian functions or come, you know, say some of the full gospel businessmen's meetings, like, you know, sometimes they don't say yam sing. Like. What do they say? Like? Blessing. Like. And, you know, and some of these guys, right, who can't hold their breath, you know, for too long, like, what will they say? Like? Come on, say this, help me, Ben. I mean, come on, guys, help me preach this, like. Amen. Blessing. Blah, 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 blessing. Amen. And it is speaking about blessing over each one of us. Amen. And you know, here, right, blessed is the man. The scripture says, right, and here, right, it speaks about how, right, God wants you. Come on, church. God wants you to be very, very, very blessed. This is our God. And of course, you know, immediately, right, we with our finite minds always think money. This is more than money, it's about us fulfilling destiny. La. It's about us pleasing God. La. It's about us, even this morning, Lord, succeeding right amidst adversity. La. Because, right, you know, your road to success, right, you know, you will pass through adversity la, and you will pass through trials. La. It's how we can overcome, la, how we can rebound. La. Amen. And so the scripture declares, right, blessed is the man. La. Come on, say this with me. Blessed is the man. La. Blessed is the woman. Look at the person next to you. And if it's a man, say, blessed is the man. If it's a woman, say, blessed is the woman. Come on, everybody. If there's no person next to you, make sure you bring one next week. Okay. Amen. The scripture says, right, blessed is the man. How can you, right, you know, walk in blessing? Man, friends, listen, you don't have to pay a thousand dollars or a few thousand dollars to go to a five-star hotel, right, to learn about how you can walk in blessing. Or some, you know, foreign speaker that comes and gives you, right, and you spend up a few thousand, right, just going for the seminar. Right? Come on, church. All you need is to buy a Bible and read the Bible right? or get a Bible. Right? Amen. The scripture is there. Right? Why? Because here, here are, you know, foundations for, from the blesser himself. Right? Why do you want to go, right, through agents or people, right, when you can go to the direct person that blesses? Right? You know, why do you want to go, right, man, you know, sometimes, right, you know, listen, I'm, you know, go and, you know, equip yourself, right? But listen, the priority is the scripture. La. And the scripture says, right, blessed is the man. And so how do you want to be blessed? La? Come on, how many of you want to be blessed this morning? La? I mean, come on, how many of you want to be blessed? Make some noise. La. Come on, how many of you want to be blessed? Say, I want to be blessed. La. Come on, how many of you want to be blessed? Say, you know, surely God, God surely in blessing God will bless me. La. Come on, if, you know, how many of you want to be blessed? You know, do the blessing, right, like they do the yam saying, la. One, two, three. La. Blessing. Sing. Well, you're very good, huh? Now I know who to get right for some of these dinners. La. Amen. Blessing. La. Amen. La. Hey, by the way, how many of you, listen, uh, uh, just, I've just got one gift. 
you know, how many of you can, you know, who, the first person that puts up the hand, okay, maybe someone can help me. Tell you I'm going to stand up and just look. Okay, uh, question. And the right, the person who can do this gets a Max, John Maxwell book. Come on, look at the person next to you and say, wow. <laughs> okay, uh, Okay, the question is this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you really ready? This is a, a TV show. The question is this. Who is the person here that can say someone by heart? Okay, out. Come on. Someone. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the part of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, and whose leaves shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. But the ungodly are not so, but are like the shaft which the wind drives away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor singers in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked shall perish. Amen. Amen. Amazing, right? No. Man, get the word in. Hey, there's one thing, come on, parents that are young, uh, parents got kids, right? Just get the word in and let the word right. You know, multiply in each one of us. Amen. So blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. You know, the scripture says, right, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Amen. You see, friends, even this morning, as you look at this verse, right, blessed is the man. Listen, there are things that God doesn't want us to do. Come on, someone say, don't, don't, don't. Come on, everybody, don't, don't, don't. And what are we not supposed to do? The scripture says, right, don't walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Don't stand in the path of sinners. Don't sit in the seat of the scornful. Yes, you know, God wants us to bless us. But the blessing, right, even right this morning, right, is, is conditional. It's for a group of people that are righteous. Each one of us. And, you know, and, 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 you know, and for us, right, to, if you want to see this happen, right, you know, the scriptures are clear. Don't don't, don't. As you look at these three don'ts, friends, listen, we cannot believe, right, like the ungodly do. Come on, church. We cannot behave, right, like the ungodly do. We cannot be, you know, we cannot belong, right, amen, to ungodliness. Amen. As you look at this, right, you know, three levels of, you know, three levels of, you know, three levels of increase or intensity. Amen. Don't, don't, don't. Amen. You know, listen, the words, right, walk, stand, sit. You know, it speaks about levels of conduct. Man, you know, we can, listen, we can walk past. Amen. We can, you know, we can walk past. And we can stand. And we can sit and talk. So three levels, right, of conduct, of influence. The scripture says, right, you know, in the counsel of the ungodly, the path of sinners, the seat of the scornful, three, right, degrees, right, of involvement. Amen. You know, we can just walk past, you know, yes, you know, in the battles of life this morning, right, there will always be influences, positive or negative. But each one of us, right, we have choices to make, you know, we need to watch our associations. We need even this morning, right, to watch, right, you know, are the influences around us. Why? Because, listen, if we don't, what happens, right? You know, what happens, right? You know, each one of us will miss out on what God has for us. The scripture says, I don't. Amen. We can listen this morning, right? We can walk past. But why do we have to stand, right, and talk? Why do we have to sit, right, and begin, right, to allow, right, that which is ungodly, right, to change us? Come on, church. Amen. Listen, if we want to see, right, if we want to receive the blessing or the fruitfulness that God has for us, come on, church, this morning, la, each one of us, right, we need to make decisions. La. We need to make decisions, right? Don't, don't, don't. La. Each one of us, la, we need to make the, the, the decisions, right, on our influences. La. Why? Because these are, you know, these are influences that are pretty spiritually radioactive. La. What do you do, right, with radioactive material? Come on, church, what do you do, la? You want to touch radioactive material? We are dead. Like you get cancer. 
man, you know, and these are things, right, that influence us even without we realize. Come on, church. Little by little, right, we get entangled in the web of sin. And we need to be careful. Why? Because, you know, the scriptures, right, listen, there's so many promises in scripture about how, right, you know, the righteous, right, will see the favor of God. And that's what we want to see, right? Amen. Each one of us. And so we need to begin to watch. You know, three degrees of evil. How, right, you know, each one of us, right, wickedness. Don't walk in the path of the wicked. Don't stand. Don't, you know, don't walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Amen. Don't stand in the path of sinners. Nor sit in the seat of the scornful. Let me give you some words, right, that just, you know, begin, as you begin to look at some of these words here. Don't walk. You know, the word walk, right, you know, refers to go. Don't go along. Don't follow, don't take the cause of action that the ungodly do. Amen. You know, don't write, you know, take the action, don't write, you know, don't imitate, don't, don't, you know, don't follow right their way of thinking. Why? Because you know, the ungodly think in a different way. We are people of the book. Come on, church. Amen. We are the people that make a difference. It was George Washington that said, and I speak to every person, every leader here. I speak to Obama. I speak right even to the, the leaders of our nation. You know, in the future leaders of our nation. George Washington said this. Amen. Listen, you cannot govern, govern a country without right God and the Bible. Come on, church. Amen. That's why right, you know, America was such a great nation. Amen. That's why right, you know, America had such great foundations. And yet, right now, come on, church, listen to me. Amen. Yet, right now, they put so much, you know, they curtail, right, the reading of scriptures in schools. And they allow the reading of scriptures in prison. Come on, church. Man, the world is getting sick. Amen. And listen, a nation, right, that doesn't exalt God, God will judge. You know, listen, amen. A nation, right, that doesn't, you know, promote, right, the scriptures, man, God will deal. Why? Because we need to be government governed. You know, we need to govern, right, whatever things in our life by God and His Word. Amen. So we need to be careful. Amen. Each one of us, right, we cannot go along, right, with the thinking of the ungodly. The scriptures say, stand the path of sinners. Amen. Stand here, right, you know, do, you know, being influenced, right, being influenced by the pattern and the behavior and the conduct of sinners. Come on, church. Man, it's don't, don't, don't. Amen. Just two groups of people in the world. Unrighteous and righteous. Ungodly and godly. Amen. And listen, you know, it all revolves around these two words. Don't and do. They do right the wrong thing. They don't do the right thing. We do the right thing and we don't do the wrong thing. Don't walk. Don't, you know, don't, uh, don't walk in the council. Don't stand in the path of sinners. The scripture says, right, don't sit, don't sit in the seat of the scornful. Come on, church, scoffers. Man, scoffers, right, that undermine the word of God. People that are bitter. You know, sometimes, right, you know, people that speak negative. You know, these are, you know, listen, they will speak negative about everything. Man, the scripture says, right, don't sit. Amen. The word sit there means don't dwell. Don't remain. You know, don't, right, you know, remain. Don't, right, come in close association and fellowship and allow, right, the trash that's there, right, to get into here. And sometimes, right, it gets in here and it takes ages to get rid of this stress. Come on, church. Amen. We need, listen, the scripture says, right, blessed is the man. Blessed is the woman. Amen. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the woman. But the scripture says, don't, 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 don't. Each one of us this morning, right, we need to begin to watch. Amen. Each one of us. Don't get influenced. Come on, church. Amen. Don't get influenced by things which are negative. Don't get distracted with things that are negative. Be selective, right, in what you're associating with. Be selective, right, in what you, you know, be selective, right, in the people that you're associating with. And be selective, right, in what you're associating with. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Listen, we are here, right, to touch lives. And you guys know, right, we will touch whoever needs to be touched. Whether, right, that rich man, whether, whether the politician, Amen. Or whether, right, the poor prostitute or drug addict, we will do whatever it takes to touch lives. But listen, man, but listen, we need to be selective, right, on who we are associating, who is, right, influencing us. Amen. You need to know what to invest in and you need to know what to ignore in. Come on, church. Amen. If you, want, if you and I, right, want to make this journey of walking, right, with the blessedness and the fullness, right, or whatever God has for us, we need to know what to invest and what we need to know what to ignore. Amen. And so many times, right, listen, we get distracted, right, with things, right, that don't matter to eternity. 
Amen. So many times, right, we get influenced, right, or distracted. Listen, every battle is sometimes, right, God doesn't want us to fight every battle. Sometimes some battles need to be ignored. No? And sometimes when you and I go through the journeys in life, right, you know, we need to begin to ignore, right, some of the things that don't matter for eternity. No? Can I hear an amen? No? And I heard the story, no? amen, of this.